court. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. Okay. Again. You all right? You sure? I hit the dot at this time and not the leave. Okay. <laughs> Y'all, we back. It's Community Coalition, so we back in this thing. <sighs> Kay Wilson, Yindi, who just disappeared from the screen. I don't know where she went. There she is. She's back. Um, I don't know. As you all know, David is somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where David is. Um, David got might might have gotten flued out again. I don't know. So of course, when mm-hmm. one person leaves, I, I continuously talk trash about him. That's how it goes here. Um, a flew out. Nice. I don't know. He might have. I don't know. I don't know. I just got a random text like, "Hey, I ain't gonna be there Monday." And I'm like, "Oh, okay." You got it today? No, I got it the other day. I got it the other day, so oh. whenever he got flu, he got flued out. He got flued out a couple of days ago. So hopefully David is living his best life somewhere. I don't know, but it's all good though. But we here, so yay, Yenny, what's going on? I I didn't get flued out. You didn't get flued. No, but you spent a whole day at Comic Con. I did, and I loved it. Oh my god, it was so dope. New what York Comic Con. Yeah, what did you do? Tell us everything. What did I do? Well, I went to the panels. I went to the Winchester panel, the Star Trek panel, of course, the anime panels, Bleach, One Piece, and then we shopped. Okay. We kind of shopped a little harder than I did, but we definitely shopped. That's what's up, though. Y'all find good stuff? Like That's why I want, I want to go to one so bad. Like, um. So we had a plan, right? The first half of the day was all about him. Whatever he wanted to buy, wherever he wanted to shop at, that's what we was going to do. After we saw Jensen Ackles and his sexy self, it was all about (laughs) me. (laughs) Whatever I wanted to do. So, in the beginning, we went to, you don't watch anime, but went to the One Piece booth where he bought some, uh, he brought a the character is called Monkey D. Luffy, so he found a Comic Con exclusive. Okay. But then I found it today on Crunchyroll for one hundred and ten dollars, which was the same price at the con. Um, I was looking for his birthday present actually there, and it was sold out. Mm. But luckily, I found it on Crunchyroll today. Um, and then he bought. He went to the Gundam. Booth okay. and he bought a Gundam. bunch of Gundams. Okay. And um we went to this other booth. The the anime is called Bleach. Okay. And we uh we got uh some lanyards, some free lanyards, and I bought a bag and stuff because you know my cousin wanted to give her baby father a little gift from there. Okay. And, um, what else did we buy? I uh, went to the Comic Con store and bought some swag. Wanted to go to the Funko Pop booth, but apparently Ooh. had to make reservations. And I mean, it was like Fort Knox. Like, Ooh. you couldn't see in or out. In I, I would have wanted to go in there. Yeah, but people were cheating and they did the reservations early. And so we didn't get a chance to go there. Mm. What else did we do? I spent like Two hundred and something dollars. He spent a little over five. <laughs> oh, the goal was we each going to spend five hundred. That's that. That was our cap. I stayed under my goal. He went over. Oh, okay. But y'all, kinda, uh, Power Rangers. Um, it was like Power Rangers tiki glass. Cause he likes Power Rangers. That was a birthday present. Oh, that's what's up. I'm glad y'all were able to have a good time, though. Oh my God, we had a blast. Like we had a freaking. Blast when I tell you that it was a total of we did we spent the whole day there, like from open to close. Oh wow. Wow. Mm-hmm. We got there at nine. We left at eight. Because it was back to the future. We did the back to the future um panel. That's right. I saw some clips of that too. I saw some of that online. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Michael J. Fox, man, he looks good though. Him and um, Christopher Lloyd, Lloyd look yeah, good, they did. You know, it's just sad because you remember Michael J. Fox and family ties, and yeah, now you see him now, and it's like, yeah, who else looks good? Patrick Stewart, he looks really good. He looks good. Yeah, yeah. 
Also, I saw I some of that too. over him because I love Patrick Stewart. So I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Deputy Avery Bullock from Family Guy. Not Family Guy. American Dad. Of course, nobody referenced that. The funny thing is the guy who was running. I'm sorry. My dogs are. We can't hear Good. Yeah. They're hear. turning up back here. But <laughs> the guy who was running the panels was like. Um, when we did the Winchester panel, I don't know if you watch Supernatural, but that's the Winchester panel. Okay. Just the Ackles. Okay. Anyway, he was telling people, like, when you ask a question, please spare me your life story. Like, we don't want to hear it. Just get up yeah. here and say where you're from, ask a question. Because with Star Trek panel, people were like, oh my God, like, just, That would have been me. I ain't gonna lie, that'd be me, yo. I just... <laughs> I grew up watching Star Trek. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't do this. It's too much. And so nah, people would get yeah. frustrated. Because you take up the time for people to ask time. questions. That wouldn't have been that bad. But yeah, I can see why people like really, it's emotional. The people in front of you are really emotional. I get it. So I can't be too mad at that. But yeah, you got to tell them. Like, wrap it up, B. Wrap it up. Right. Because it was like, do. I'm telling you, when people, they said people could ask questions for Star Trek. I was like, man, people not lined up. Some people, a lot of people lined up for um, the Winchesters too, because I mean, people was like, just saying, I go like, hello. Were they really geeking like that? I mean, what? When when he so we watched the clip first. When they heard Dean's voice, because that that's mm. what Jesse Ackles plays. When they, and I don't even know if I'm saying his last name right. But anyway, when they heard his voice, when I tell you the chicks was like louder than Chris Brown's concert. Yo. Lord, Chris Brown, everybody got pregnant after Chris Brown's concert. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how loud they were. Like, and then when we saw him on camera, chicks lost it. And then I was sitting behind the cameraman so and Jensen Ackles was sitting in the front of the cameraman so I couldn't see him at all Oh, <sighs> my boyfriend was on it <laughs> <laughs> he had that camera going don't see? miss see? don't miss a scene <laughs> see? that's why y'all unit y'all made it happen <laughs> we did like don't you miss a single <laughs> when he wipe his sweat you catch it Yo. <laughs> catch it on camera I want to go. I'm, I'm low key jealous. You like, have to I'm, go. I need to go. It, it has, I have to go to work. When I stop eating my, I'm so sorry. My dog was eating my wire. Um, don't be the dog. You, I'm not shut up, Slim. <laughs> She's eating my work wire. I need oh, to work tomorrow. Oh, Peter. Mm -hmm. I was out with a headache. <laughs> they not trying to hear no more. <laughs> being out. Yeah. But, um, yeah. What was I was gonna say, yeah, when I tell you that for me, so you know, I'm an anime fan, and when I was young, yo, people looked at me crazy when they found out like anime, people didn't yeah. even know what it was, yeah. So, to me, to walk into this place, like, I mean, like I told you, you can go to these things and be dressed. There was a lot of people when when they went to the the Star Trek, there was so many people dressed up in their gear. Yeah. I mean, their kids was dressed up. Everybody was dressed up. And to me, the go into the anime panels, even though I didn't watch these animes, they're not my favorite. But to go into the panel and see the amount of people in there dressed up, like the characters, like I dressed up as, I didn't really dress all the way up. I just had on the cape from Attack on Titan. So to see right. there was mad people in there dressed the same like i wanted to cry because it was like wow yeah that's so crazy i thought i would but i'm an outsider and now here we are i'm telling you this it make you feel like you're at home with your people which is good because we need that like like you said we grew up in shame right you know like literally in shame i was ashamed to be a star trek fan as a kid like i couldn't talk about it with nobody like mm -hmm. luckily my mother understood because her brother was a big star trek fan my uncle was and like, but no one else. I couldn't talk about this with anyone else. So it was like a whole huge part of my life that you have to feel like you hold in, you know? Right. So that's why I was really living vicariously through you. 
all them updates. I was getting excited. So I'm like telling my wife, like, oh, they're over here. They're doing this. And she's looking at me like, whatever, yo. Like, Listen, but... she, you, I'm telling you, you got to do it. That's, oh, a, yeah. that's the ultimate date, yo. It's the ultimate date. It was so, we had so much fun. I mean, you got to be prepared to stand because there's a lot of standing. I'm telling you, I burned mm. so many calories. I loved it. I stood for 12 hours. Damn, but yeah, see, you do it for it. what you love. Yeah, right. It was definitely worth it. The lines, the lines was no joke. Yeah, no joke. Did you did you get a chance to talk to other people, like people who were there? You make I any know, friends? First of all, I don't I don't do crowds. Let me tell you, there was one part where we were when we were in the Gundam section. I'm talking. About, I didn't have breakfast. Oh, I was hungry. Mm. And it was hot. Mm. I can't do crowds of people. And there was like a little corner. There was 20 people surrounding me. I was over it. I was about to blow that bitch up. I was done. <laughs> I had to go stand on the other side. People were cutting the line. Like, we're, we're online. Where are you going? I was ready to snatch and drag somebody. And then my boyfriend was about to say something. And then the guy that was dealing with the line, he was like, no, 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 no. Your girl got this. Let her handle see, it. See. I was about to stray, snatch and drag those people for cutting the line. Because like we're all standing here online and y'all cutting lines. Like, come on now. What are you doing? Uh, it's whack. Just like with the lanyard. They was giving out mad lanyards. So what what are you doing? And did I show you the picture of the Marvel costumes? No, I don't think so. Yeah, like they gotcha. had they had the real marvel costumes there oh like, yes yeah i'm looking at them now those are the real costumes from the marvel movies that they you had could, you couldn't touch these right it is on display nah, you could take pictures next to them but they were only on display i was like Ooh. when i tell you the inner designer in me i was like yes shout out to costume designers because that stuff look nice mm, yeah yeah Look at the detail on these things. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and I don't have a field day there. For the highlight because I was like, who knew he was going to be here? Yeah. I know. That was random. Like, right. That was like, Flair. I was hold like, on. Flair. Wait a minute. Is that Rick Flair? That's why I sent you yeah. the picture. Like, Slam, look who it is. <laughs> and then is this a picture of Michael Myers? Uh, wait, hold on. I'm sorry. Oh, no, don't beat him. I'm not shut up. They're in here. Like they're not even supposed to be in here. Oh, anyway, like, this, like Michael Myers with like black Air Force ones on. He ready Michael for Myers, but there was another <laughs> Michael Myers behind him with his head off. I see it. That's why I'm looking at the picture. Like <laughs> in his face. That's a, it. Look, it just looks like fun. Even if, like, I'm telling your kids, they might be a little scared because there was some costumes that might be a little much, but. Your kids would enjoy it to see all those people in cosplay is so mm. freaking amazing. Like the detail, the time that they put into those costumes, like yeah. it's crazy. I was impressed. And then yeah. I saw like I saw like some of my favorites, like I don't know, you never heard of this, but it's called Webtoons. It's like all these different um comics that they have. And there's one that I read. Called Laura of Olympus, and it's Hades, and I can never say her name right. First, first of all, what the heck? I just hear her name. Not Perse Persephone. That's all I say. Okay. It's Hades. It's the story of love story of Hades and Persephone, and there were two people dressed up as Hades and Persephone, and I lost it. Mm. That's amazing. You gotta Thank go. You. I'm telling you, you gotta go. Yeah. That is is San Diego is the biggest, but yeah. New York, they said is the second biggest. Yeah, San Diego is yeah. They used to <laughs> do one. They used to do a Star Trek one in Philly, and I missed. That. I should have went that year. I just. Do you watch? Have you ever watched Smallville? I've seen a couple. You know, Tom Welling was there. Okay. Okay. I was like, that's Mother effing Superman. <laughs> I just got hyped. <laughs> Type, type. I'm, I'm just excited like i said i just i just love to see stuff like that like in a world where everything is so crazy everything is so negative people can come right. together and just 
Have fun. Enjoy it. Only one. I only saw one Karen. Well, you know what? I don't let people. That's not bad. That's not bad. Right. I mean, I didn't see anybody else, but they had a strict rule about screenings. You can't have your camera out because this stuff hasn't been released yet. Yeah. I was in this one anime screening. I mean, the anime came out today. We were in one screening and they asked you, like, please do not record. So the guy went up to this person and it was like, yo, you can't record. They were like, oh, I paid all this money. Don't matter. Like, but you can't record. Rules are rules. Like, you can't. So they still continue to record. So he had to get a chick. And she came up in there like, you either take it out or break your shit. And they put the phone down real quick, like, you know what? Yeah, you get snatched. Yeah, that's right. Cool. Yeah. Ruin this for all of us, please, because we're trying to enjoy it. So I was telling my boyfriend, like, you imagine if this escalated, then people would have beat the hell out of that person. Like, bro, get out of here. Yeah, yeah. But the convention, the fans come to see that exclusive stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What that's what it is. It's a time to release, like, like the trailers and stuff. Like, like right after you told me, I went on and the, the Star Trek trailer had been released and stuff like that, but it's, they set it up that way. So yeah, you mess up their plans, you deserve to get snatched up. Yeah, because they definitely don't want any of that stuff to be released, because I mean, they couldn't even really talk about too much, because they said apparently they signed non-disclosure, so they can't really talk about too much of the stuff. Yeah. Oh my God, and the captain, i never seen a new season of, what is it, what is it called? Star Trek Discovery? Discovery, yeah. Shaniqua? Yes. She is so beautiful. She is a queen. Yeah, she was there. That's what I'm saying. Like everybody was there. Well, she was there via. Yeah. She wasn't actually there because she was recording. So okay. They were filming, but she was sitting in the captain's chair. Looks good on her. It definitely looks good on her. She is a queen. Yeah. So they're talking about officially passing the baton. But I believe they're going to try to do it where Bacard, Bacard, Card passes the baton officially to her. How's that going? Okay. It's a lot of structure. Like, there's a lot of issues with that, but okay. They're going to try to make it work somehow. Yeah. yeah. And, and um, people want Janeway back. I was just reading an article about that, too. Yeah. You know, they love Janeway. The women mm-hmm. the women love Janeway. My mom, that's her girl. Yeah. See? See? I ain't mad at that, though. You know? I will say this. They were talking about the relationship between Picard and number one. Like, I don't I don't know if they were trying to hint at a love relationship. I'm not, I'm not sure. No. No. I was like, please don't go in that direction. No. It's, it's always been like father, like almost father son. Right. In in like, record marriage. Yeah. Nah. No. No. Okay. Oh, no. No. All right. So got got through that. I was curious about that. I'm glad we got to unpack that on the show. So I'm sorry if y'all not used to that on the show. I don't care, you know. We're here because there's a lot of stuff I don't want to talk about today. Like, there's too much madness. I don't want to talk about this stuff. What are you eating? Gummies. You know my podcast snack. You know how I get down. It's Monday you night. Me switch out dang on gummies. I want gummy bears. No, I did switch and I was disappointed. Um, what is it? Starburst came out with gummies. I hate Starburst. They were they were gross. They were like air. It, it they taste like gum. Hmm. So it tastes like I was eating gum, you know, like it just wasn't good. I was so disappointed. I didn't even want to give them to my kids. I was like, no, nobody deserves this. I bought my things sugar free. Okay. Um, She didn't even notice the difference. Sugar free. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She tore them up. Yeah, that sounds different. But hey, if it works, it works. Now, okay, I got one. So I don't know. You didn't, I guess you didn't see this video. There's a video going around in Arkansas of a white guy and apparently he's standing on like the side of a corner on the, on the street and he's holding up a black lives matter sign yeah white guy arkansas black lives matter sign and he was recording this day and them people was giving him hell for it they were driving by calling him coons calling him niggers one dude came up, said, I'm going in. So you better not be back when in 10 minutes when I get back here. They were threatening his life. They were cussing him out as they were driving by. They were going off on this dude. Like, people were approaching him. You need to leave now. They was really trying to get big with him out there. It was ridiculous. 
ridiculous. That sounds like that sounds like the video of the guy in this part of Texas. He did the same thing and it got the same reaction. I wonder if it's the same guy. But... Sometimes with videos like that, though, it makes me wonder. Are you doing it because you're really for the movement? Are you just doing it to see like if you can get attention? I think you I think it was the latter, honestly. I think it's to get a reaction to to make a good video cuz you never you never know that everything is content these days. Right, cuz it's like why why randomly are you just standing out there holding up this sign? No, cuz there's a lot of other things you can do if you really want to support the movement. That's why I say I don't right. think it's about that. And obviously, he's out there, but there's another person that has to be recording him because you can see camera moving and stuff. So, like, I don't think this guy is in real danger. Right. No, I think people, I think the reactions are genuine. Mm -hmm. I think people are cussing him out, stuff like that. But you never get the sense that he's in danger, you know? So... I think it is for content. I think it's it's telling, you know. I don't think it should be anything new information to people that people out here still mad racist in Arkansas, Texas. But I thought it was interesting. And I think one thing is, the one thing that steps out to me is that racism, they don't, you know, like, yeah, white people will protect their own and they'll be racist together. But anyone who goes against the agenda, you become the enemy. And if that means another white person, then that means another white person, you know? And I think this whole notion that like people get past it. No, I think if you if you don't rock with them, they they're against you too. Right. And we've seen that before. That's why, like, even like interracial marriage and the white person, they get called nigger lover and all that stuff. Like they get the grief too. Like, but I don't know. I thought it was just like. Interesting to see at all the stuff. There's other stuff that's floating out there. Look at everything that's like I don't feel like talk. I don't feel like talking about Kanye today. It's just don't. We don't. We no. need to. As I'm saying, it's it's stupidness out My there. My sister and I just actually got not into it, but we just had a discussion about that. Okay, you know what? You know what? You know what? I think we should dive into it briefly. I mean, the, I, just, I know. My sister, my sister feels like. The mainstream media is exploiting Kanye and his mental health issue. I say Kanye West is like that kid in your class who is craving attention. Like he cannot just do whatever. He always got to keep doing stuff to poke the bears. Like yeah. why now? Why Lizzo? What did Lizzo do to him? Nothing. Okay. Lizzo just literally be existing. He he picks topics that again, like he's trying to get attention. I think both things are true. I think both of y'all arguments are true. I mean, think about news. Why, if you're going to create news, media is going to cover it, right? And if that's you, what I'm trying to tell her. Like, no matter what, even if we ignore Kanye, he will still continue to push it, just so that people keep it like, you know what, Kanye's at it again. Yeah, and and you keep his name in your mm-hmm. mouth, so. Do I blame the news? No. They're doing what they do. Any news outlet is not going to list stuff like that just slide. Like, they're not going to blackball him when you're sitting on the juicy story right there. They're not. They don't care about who he is. You're giving them something to talk about. You know? So I think, yeah, as long as he's going to continue to do that, they're going to continue to cover it. And he knows that. I'm really so, trying to defend Kanye because I I love Kanye. Nah. I'm a huge Kanye fan, but I just I can't. He needs mental help. He needs help bad. Like he really needs mental help. I and don't. People, people just think it's funny, but I just feel like he really needs help. Like everything's in my past, and he just hasn't been right. But I don't. Maybe I think this. I think it's layered. Whereas, like, yeah, he might need help. Like for like, I think you know. I mean, I think we see his personal life spew out, sometimes self-inflicted. But I also think he knows what he's doing a lot of these times. Like you said, to randomly pick on someone like Lizzo, to randomly call out other things. It's like the, the whole White Lives Matter shirt. You knew what you were getting with that. And I think he he wanted support from the other side. 
the same thing with Donald Trump and him supporting Trump yeah. and running for president. He just likes attention because and, like, and whoever's gonna give it to him, whoever's gonna support him at this point. Here's here's what I want to say to Kanye. Just just go back into the studio and just go back to old Kanye, please. I just want old Kanye back. No, I but I Kanye. think I think I really think old Kanye was not the person we thought he was. When you give someone access and money and stuff like that, this is I think I think if he had the access and stuff back then, I think we would be seeing this then. You think? Yeah, yeah, I do. <clears throat> even, even even at times like he, he was so he had to get there. He had to get the validation. He had to get that. And once it happened, you got access now, it's like a drug. So, you know, he's a tension drug. Then he might have been, you know, like, I think it just looked in different forms, you know? So I think we're, I think we're seeing the person, this is who this person is going to be. You think? Yeah. I mean, if you watch that, if you watched his uh, thing that he had, that little docuseries. Yeah. It's like this kid that's really trying to make it. But that's the thing. I think, I think he had to make it. He couldn't do the antics because he didn't have it back then. But I think it oozed out. Like, if you listen to the music, he was still very narcissistic back then. He just didn't have the big platform. Mm. So I think, I think like I said, you know, I was like, they always say, like, put somebody on, they change. I think, but there's always traces. There's always pieces of that person there. You just unlock something when you get money and access. You, you're allowed to do it now. But, no, nah, I mean, I don't like it. I don't like how he's... I don't like how he's picking at people and playing victim. It's like the whole... Like, the text messages and stuff with Puffy and Boosie, like... And he's telling them, like, come beat me up, I'll sue you. What are you? You're a grown man, bro. Yeah, that's the stuff I don't like. Like, you really playing... Now you plan, like, don't play tough guy and tell people I'll sue you. Talk about people open. He told they said he put and he puts the text messages out. He put the conversation out. Oh, you gonna come shoot me? (laughs) And I think I think he came for Lizzo because he saw how much attention Aries Spears got. And he wanted that attention. That's what I'm saying. Like he chooses hot topics. Kanye, we would give you attention if you just tapped into old Kanye and bring that music back. Just make the music. Make the music. Right. Or even if you make good clothes. But the yeah. stuff is weird. Yeezys is nothing. Yeah. It's weird. Even that Gap stuff where they was in trash bags and stuff, I'm like, no, that's weird. I'm like, nobody going for that for real. So it was like, what are you doing? I think he's just he's going about this to all wrong. And Mm-hmm. I just one thing is I just don't know if like is it going to run out? Is all this gonna get tired? Is everybody eventually gonna get tired of them? The black people, the white people, is everybody eventually gonna get tired? And he said some stuff about Jewish people, now they mad. I'm like, can can we just like brush them to the side as a collective humanity? We just close our eyes and ignore Kanye and think we'll be in a better place. Yeah. Well what um what movie is that? What monster is that if you forget about him? He, Freddy Krueger. Mm-hmm. You don't remember Freddy, he goes away, he loses his power, right? Even a T-Rex. Wait, what? Even a T-Rex. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't move, just ignore it. It won't see you. Leave you alone. It'll leave you alone. <laughs> Kanye, just ignore him. He'll go away. Yeah. You realize nobody cares about his antics. He'll go get help. But the sad thing is, damn, as much as we want that to be true, I don't think it'd be true. I think he would do something more and more outlandish to get people to rile up. I think we tried to forget him. He would do he would do something crazy like like really run for president or something. I don't know. Like he would do something like really like I'm over it. I'm over all that. Yeah. Like, I don't know. But it, that's the problem. And like like how we're having conversations. And you and your sister are having conversations. I just talked about this on the show, the previous show, for a couple minutes. Like, I'm, I'm, I don't know. You keep being alive like the Baba Duck. Remember the Baba Duck? Oh, you ever seen the Baba Duck? Yes. <laughs> you keep him alive. 
That's his name. Bob Duck. <laughs> and then I just like how come how come he doesn't get the same sellout label that we've given other people when you start messing with Candace Owens and you go on what's the name Tucker Carlson show and all that why don't we give him that label I mean people pretty much are over him now the black community we're pretty much over Kanye I'm not because I like his music and I really be trying to defend for him like I swear, y'all, just just give him some time. I ain't just going through the terrible twos. <laughs> you know, he just needs not the terrible need twos. <laughs> <laughs> he just need a nap. He going through the terrible twos right now. Just give him some time. But it just he keeps just getting worse and worse yeah. and worse. So like I'm he's just, staying, he's staying two years old forever. He ain't, he ain't I don't want to listen to his music no more because he's getting on my damn nerves. I mean, even his music ain't been the greatest. I'm sorry. Nah, not since the... Oh, my God. Like, you about to make me go back and listen to old guy. I have to. Because, like, Don, I didn't like every song on Donda. I didn't like Donda. I like one song on Donda. One. And uh, the, the one before that, eh. So I'm like... Donda. 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 And this this ain't your other podcast, and I don't even have to go into the reason why I don't. Like no, it. we know it wasn't even because of the gospel thing either. It's just I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it. Wasn't feeling the music. Like I said, I got one song. That song with the weekend. That was it. Yo, but... quick subject change. Okay. Yes, please. The weekend. Did you see he's in the movie. I thought I heard that. Is he? Yes, I. Is he playing a killer? Let's find out. Oh no, he's not playing a killer. He is in this. I think it's either a TV show. It's called Idol, and it's with Johnny Depp's daughter in the weekend. And he's a sleazy record producer. That's what he is. Okay. Oh, I see it. The Idol. Okay. I think it's a show. I think it's a show. Not. Is yeah, it a movie a, or a show? It's a show. It's a TV series. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Hmm. The idol. The weekend. Yeah, self help guru and leader of a modern day cult enters a complicated relationship with the rising pop idol. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, Lily. She's coming up too. Lily Rose Depp. Yeah. Okay. She was in something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, speaking Can you imagine of imagine being your being a father, you're gonna have to see your daughter, even though it's just acting, you're gonna have to see her play some. Uh... I think I don't know because they, they live that life, they're probably used to that lifestyle, true. And and she's probably been around that, but she's been you know with her dad. Hollywood is different anyway, that's just different. <laughs> they kids be seeing crazy stuff. Oh no. And I tell you, uh, Dan Lee. Okay, yeah. that just made me think of something. I was on TikTok earlier. You probably don't know this person unless you're a pervert. <laughs> but the lady, I'm sorry. When he gets quiet, you gotta look. Hey, yep, little kid. Yep. <laughs> That's when I get nervous. When we get quiet in here. <laughs> I was, you know what? Anyway. The lady showed a video and she was like, if you know, you know, and it was Mr. Marcus. Wow. Wow. And the comments, random. the comments. Because her Mr. Marcus kid plays football with her kid. Okay. And so she somebody was like, <laughs> they said it starts off with me looking at him at a football game. Next scene is he's bending me over in the bathroom. <laughs> Not the next scene. Somebody was like, when you see him turn that hat backwards, you know it's trouble. <laughs> Somebody else was like, um, I would have asked him for an interview that day. <laughs> oh, and he was at it was like just a random picture of him, like he was at the game. Yeah. She, okay. He took a picture with him later. And she, her kid was like, Mom, how you know him? And she was like, Oh, he was an actor back in my day. Back Don't look him up. <laughs> Don't look him up. You know what? That's, I wonder how to like. So also like like I said like not just like actor celebrity but like they gotta move around too. They gotta move I, around. I remember I met Pinky. Oh, this was a long time ago. I met her 
in a restaurant in Philly. She was actually doing a party in Philly, stripping. She okay. was real cool. She was just talking about her experience. The dude I was on a date with, though, of course, he was retarded. Stupid. He's probably too. He's he probably geeking. He yeah. Just like, yeah. He was like, oh my God. I used to beat up to her. Like, bro. Yeah. Damn. Embarrassing. Chill out. Yeah. Why you want that say on into your girl? Like, I was do the most. Just on a, a date. <laughs> but yeah, I remember I met her. She was cool. I mean, I would feel awkward because I remember watching them, those people and and no show somebody was like got me through <laughs> one girl was like i would have told him he got me through some long lonely nights <laughs> that's what i'm saying like so like i wonder and especially like the women i expect the women probably get harassed and they probably get dudes like that all the time but i wonder how he moves like does he get i wonder if he gets like harassed or like he had the football game and i wonder if he gets approached at the game some people didn't know who Mr. Marcus was. Like, my mom didn't know, but I didn't expect her to because he wasn't with her time. He was with our time. That's yeah. the whole time. But that's so, what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, but like, imagine, like, you get recognized for that. Right. Didn't he do a video with Superman? I can't con- confirm or nor deny. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying you watched it. I know, it, but... I know, but I'm pretty sure that that era. I'm pretty sure all of we're them. Not, did. We're not talking about watching. I'm I just know. Saying, like, her if I recall, I'm pretty sure I remember something of the sort. I mean, I've never watched Mr. Marcus. I just know him through other friends who have watched his videos. Yeah, yeah. Just like I didn't know who Pinky was, I knew other people who watched her videos. Man, I knew who they were. Wait, like, wait. look, because <laughs> I ain't go for. I worked in an industry that was very similar, and yeah, yeah. I mean, like, it is what it is at this point. I think even now, it's like back when we was growing up, it was very taboo. Mm-hmm. But like I said, them people walking the streets now, and you know, like they're damn near celebrities. Like, right? Can is, I just say, my bad. Go ahead, finish. I'm sorry. No, I'm I'm done. I got it. So. I, I was like, I'm, I was going to say, I know this is a family friendly show. And so, eh, is it? But I just remember somebody, Cherokee, I don't know if you ever heard of her. Again, you could have heard from somebody who watched her video. Yeah. Name, name sounds familiar. Cherokee, she did a TikTok video and people were like, yo, who is this girl? And I'm like, I got well, so her. But think about it. I mean, I'm almost 40, right? So we're talking about they was around 20 years ago. That's true. That's a whole generation ago. So I could believe it. Them, them young, them young kids probably have no idea who they are. You know, I could, I could, I could see that. I could so see that. And for her, she's probably reinventing herself all over again. You know. If they if they're able to do it, because that's the one thing about that industry. Like, it's I, I compare it to being an athlete. You got a window. I think they still do it. I don't know, but I think they probably still do it. They, they they probably now you can keep yourself up probably a little you know certain if you can slow the aging process down. You know, but, nursing home porn. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Say no. Nah, they still look good. They all still look good. Shout out to them because I don't know what they did. Dip their toes in some getting snatched oil or something, but getting that's snatched true. up. Yo, speak. Okay, speaking of all that, yo. Okay, I gotta talk about this. Talk to my homegirl for a long time, right? To my homegirl, who she shared her experiences of getting the BBL, and apparently she had just came back from Atlanta, got it done, and was like still in recovery. Yeah, that's the process. Bam. That yeah. was wild. I list I was like, what? You to gotta go wear um I forgot what they she call got the, it. She I got the belt. Vertical, like, but you gotta wear that for like a long time. Well, she was saying she had to get that. Like she has to go like get massaged, then continue to get shaped. Mm-hmm. Like even afterward, like follow up. Like she showed me a picture, like her they, well, see, at least she huh. went to somebody good, cause most people just go out nine, cause they go to the Dominican Republic. She went to Atlanta. She said she went to Atlanta. She told me how much she spent too. I was ten. 
Did and the insurance company cover half of it? Like at least the light bulb. What she get? Um, tummy tuck. Yeah, but also then put on the back. So Fun yeah. Fact. Now I'm not saying to do this, but I've heard people do it. The tummy tuck portion usually gets covered by insurance. See, wow. Hernia. <laughs> well, I mean, because it's probably medical, but if you do, because you know, if you do it by insurance, you got to go by their rules too. Right, I've heard people be like, you got to go to the doctors and mm-hmm. like the weight loss. I, and stuff. I know three people who got it covered because of hernias. They mm-hmm. doctor found hernias, and I was like, whoa, guess what? It, <laughs> pretty sure she ain't had no hernias. Doctors right. be knowing how to cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because yeah, they know how to get paid. But I was just like, what? And then like she showed me like a picture, like her, like what they, they took in her chest was like bruised and it had to heal. Yeah. Like it's a lot. I that's why I would never do it. I don't I don't even know why. First of all. It seems like so much. Is it is is what's the desire to have a really big butt? And that's what she said. Cause then she was mad. That's another thing. She was mad because she said she wanted a double. They didn't put enough back there. Yo, her life would be over. You talk about uh, that you would not be able to sit in that you used to be able to sit in. You talk about bumping people. That's what I'm saying. Knocking it, the Uber dude in the head with it. And like <laughs> even the healing process, like that, you couldn't fly. She couldn't fly for a certain amount of time afterwards. It's a lot. Yeah. Like, just, just go for it. It's okay if you want to put a little bit, but don't. Don't go overboard because having a big badonk is not what it's cracked up to be. This is a struggle. Find pants that fit you because they don't. Trust me. Yeah. Like, even as a big dude, like, you don't want that problems. You can't even lay with your back against the bed anymore. You can't lay <laughs> on your back. It's rude. It's horrible. The airport seat be tight. Like... Right. Like, and, and, and then y'all just get in the bubble, but not the hips. Yeah, those look awkward. Those look real awkward. It's just butt out, no hip. Ugh, they look like an alien. But yeah. I don't know. I was just so yeah. flabbergasted with this process. Like you well, went through yeah. all of this, and then I'm like, you went through all of this. Get your boobs done, and you gotta have them wrapped for like a while. And I'm like, what's gonna happen? So I'm like, it it just everything about this seemed like a major health issue. Like it just didn't seem that none of this was natural. Some people complain after they have the work done because it's uncomfortable and then they want to get it taken out. If you got something added, you want it out. It's just I've seen some I saw somebody who had it really bad. Like it was it didn't look nice. I don't know who she went to, but she needs to punch him in the face because they did a terrible job. I mean her cheeks was not even and that's what I'm saying. And that's what I'm saying. Like, like, cause you, if you, I guess they're, yeah, you go to shabby person, you can pay cheap and you get cheap work. Like, I guess it's like anything else. So I was like, this is, it just seemed like I'm just listening to the story. I'm just listening at this stuff. And I'm like, this just seems wrong. And I know I'm not a man and I'm not trying to judge, but like from a health issue, I didn't even talk about what you want to do with your body. It just seemed like from a health thing, this is like major surgery, like huge recovery time. There's a lot of restrictions, a lot of stuff you got to do to maintain it. That seems like a lot. That always makes me wonder why. I know women will say it's not because of a man, but why? Why do you want a big butt? I mean, we look at, I'm not even going to hold you. When I was young, I used to see people like who we were talking about, Pinky and them, and I would see like they had wide hips. And I was like, yo, it's okay if I have wide hips and stuff because they killing it in the game. I didn't ask for all these hips, but I only asked for just a smidge. <laughs> like, they killing it in the game. Be careful what you wish for. I'm saying, like, I just don't understand why. Some some women aren't. I don't know if you saw that show with Kay Michelle, no. but they said that some of them said they got it because of their man because he was cheating on them and stuff like that. And they were like, oh, if I get it done... No. no, maybe he'll stay, but that's not gonna stop anything, honestly, y'all. Has made like trust me, that's not gonna stop anything. Like those are the wrong reasons to do anything like that. Like I said, I, I see the people who like they were overweight and it's like a health thing, and they they, you know, like a health issue. But just to, just because like 
surgery is not something you're supposed to be doing just because. Like, well, they be giving out bariatric surgeries like it's potato chips. Oh, no. Because I don't want it. I'm getting paid. Like, yeah, I don't uh, want it. I prefer to just stick with my regimen because that right there is something I don't, don't cut out. Think about it. me. But then I was like, because I'm asking, like, your body still has to, like, conform to it. Your body can reject some of this stuff. Like, just because you put some fat there doesn't mean it's going to sit right. And it, did, it wasn't supposed to be there. Like, it's just, I don't so know. So does that last forever? Like, you don't have to go back and get it filled in? That was another question I had. Because what happens when time and aging starts and your body naturally starts to sag and gravity begins to win? What happens? And I didn't want to ask because, like, you know, just, I was fascinated. I didn't want to be, like, negative at that moment, you know? But I wanted to ask, like, yeah, what happens when you get older, aging, and your butt naturally sags and everything naturally sags and you start wrinkling? Right. I mean, I don't know. Like, what are you going to do at 60, still getting BBL, like, still trying to move it up? Like, yeah, like, do you still have to continue to get them or does it, like, I don't know. That's what I was like. I, I I was curious, but I couldn't get there with that conversation. Cause like I was like half of me was really concerned, like make like for her health. Half of me was fascinated because I'm like learning about this. Like this is I ain't know it was this deep. Like it was wild. It was like, yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. I just don't see that being a long term thing. I just I know what happens after. Like I said, if you want like to how, is there a shelf the life to it? Yeah, like does it last 10 years? Like what is you know? If you want to enhance it a little, go ahead. Don't don't go overboard. You beautiful, sis. That's the thing. Like, you know, don't do it for nobody else. I'm sorry, I'm, I'll say that. I don't think that's something you should be doing for somebody else. Like, be beautiful. And I think it's okay to be beautiful and be be beautiful with who you are and like i said if you want to improve you know like there may be other ways to do it maybe we can do some research on bbls i'll volunteer and i'll uh, go I, in and get the surgery done and we'll see what happens okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh who paying for this <laughs> Community yeah, coalition she, show. Tax. Like we uh do it as a tax write-off. Community coalition show <laughs> for research does not endorse this. Doing it for some research. Get a BBL on company dime. That's crazy. Like, listen, I'm just gonna get a BBL. See, we're doing a, a little investigation. Yeah, we'll get, get it done and see what happens. Get a BBL real quick. <laughs> see how it go. I'm not going to the Dominican Republic. No, I'm staying right here. That's another what thing. And then dudes, and then I, and I hear about dudes getting penis enlargements and stuff like surgery for that. Have you heard that? No, they have a surgery for that. Apparently, wow, I'm good. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm nah. mm -hmm. I thought that's what the pump was for, but maybe it's a you know what? Maybe it's a different topic another time. Yeah, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I just imagine, like, you know, like a tripod, you got to, like, extend the legs and pull the legs out, like, I just imagine, like, you just, <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. Oh, no. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be sewing on no extra pieces, like, no, no, I'm good. That's I don't even want to know how it works, it just sounds like it hurts, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. So this will this where we are, y'all, this is where we are. Let's be safe out there, please. And that's my thing. People have died from some of this stuff. That is true. Yeah. It's like, I don't know. When it comes to surgery, maybe I'm just like, I try to be very sensitive about surgery. Being someone who's had multiple surgeries for like knee issues and stuff, like going under the knife is not something you should take lightly. And I hope people aren't just doing it for a fad. I'm, I'm yeah. BBLs. Excuse me. BBLs, they, apparently they were high over the past year during the pandemic. I can believe it. Everybody was bored out of their mind trying to figure out what they was going to do with themselves. Like, oh, I'm going to come when the pandemic is over, I'm going to come out with a new booty. New booty. Snatched up. Nah. nah. Getting snatched. Get snatched in the gym. Somebody has that outside of their gym. You want to get snatched? Get snatched in the gym. I mean... 
at least you know it'll last if you keep doing it. Will it? I mean, if you keep working out, yeah, if you do it the right way, yeah. You ain't got to pay 10 stacks for it. You can turn your fat into muscle. Yeah. You ain't got to move it to another part of your body. Can we find out how we can move that fat into our butts without having surgery? No, there's no way to cut it off from one place and inject it into another place. Yeah. Then she said she didn't get um, anesthesia. She was awake. What? Yeah. Excuse me? Yeah. So I guess they, they numbed it. Legal? They numbed it, but like she said she was awake. For her butt? Yeah. So they can move her. But you know, oh, anesthesia, man. and here's the thing about anesthesia. That's a real medical procedure. Has to be done by an anesthesiologist. There's a lot of safety issues with that. Yeah, pay so that's money for that too. And that's another thing. So I'm like, I hope these places are like not sketchy and bypassing anesthesia for some of this stuff. Like, don't you have to have blood work done too before you can go in there? I think so. I hope so. Yeesh. I hope, but you know, that's what I say. You go in places like DR Sunny, but that ain't really little back alley joints. They ain't following all medical procedures and practices. That's crazy. So I was like, you watched all this? She was like, yeah, I saw this. And I was talking to the doctor. Ugh. Sorry. I was with my mom when she had a hysterectomy. No, I did not want to see that again. No. Even the aftermath of that. No, I'm good. So. Yeah, that's all I got. I don't know. I'm good there. I don't even. Mm. That made me want to go do some sit ups and stuff. I'm like, it's good. Yeah. One thing when you said that made me think of a funny story. But I forgot I had talked to you already about the dragons. But yesterday, uh, when the episode was ending for the credits, the king had whispered something, but I already shouted and blurted out some stuff and I missed what he said. I was so mad at myself. But I had to go back and rewind and hear they said, what do you think, my love? He was talking about his wife, not this one. The previous one that passed. Yeah. Emma, whatever her name was. Yeah. Oh, his last breath. But, I mean, you know what makes me so mad about that show is that the queen now, she forget how she got here. Like, bro, you ain't all 100%, sis. No, but I think, I think, uh, that's how geek I am. I was actually listening to a podcast on it. Um, I think now that in, in this position, she's also still being controlled by her father. You know, I think now she's trying to like take ownership of who she is at this point. Like she got thrust into that position, you know, and I think now it's like, well, since I'm here, then my job is to totally prepare my son. Like she's trying to go all out now. But yeah, she knows. She's crazy. Because after that last episode, when um, Rhaenyra's son sliced his uncle's face and that was gangster. I just think, and he and they were really trying to take his eye, and I'm like, does this chick lost her mind? I like how um, we we got to see her true colors. I'm t- you, I'm telling you, I'm still stuck on Damien. Yo, Damien's the hardest. Whoa, I Damien. was like, what? <laughs> then I heard. Uh, then I see. I, I read too much stuff, so I guess I was listening, watching, reading, whatever. Some some of the people who read the book. So I was like, oh, I don't want to know this right now. I don't want to know this right now. I don't want to know. So I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna. Yeah. It's gonna get bad, right? I don't know. I don't know nothing. Just saying, you have to know, Slim. It's gonna get bad. Yes. For Venera. I don't know who. It, it gets bad. It gets bad. It's gonna make me hate her. Just every, like it gets bad. It's just a, it gets bad for everyone. I hated like, Cersei's. I hated Joffrey. Like I, just... I mean, yeah, Joffrey's the worst. Joffrey might be one of the worst characters in television history. Nope, not at all. Not well. He might be on television, but I'm gonna tell you right now. If you watch 
the Resident Evil show that came on Netflix that was just canceled. Ooh. Jade. Jade would be the one you hate. I hate Jade. As a matter of fact, there's a whole Reddit about how Probably. people hate Jade. Yeah. She's over Joffrey. Worst. Joffrey was. I don't, Joffrey I don't was know if they hate her over Joffrey, but Jade was the worst. There's a couple people who just like, yeah. Oh, this wow. show makes me angry. Oh, I want to jump through the screen and beat the queen up so bad. Like she pissed oh. me. That's what I'm saying. When you learn about the story, so I had to learn about the book, the story, the book. Like, bro, bro, it's supposed to get bad. I read the book. It's supposed to get bad for everyone involved. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's House of the Dragon, y'all. That's your that's your update on House of the Dragon. We might have start making a segment on that too. You know, I don't know. They just show is changing, but I like it though. I um what happened? Well, something. Uh-oh. I was gonna say. I forgot to talk. We to circle back to Comic Con and talk about Halloween, which also comes out this weekend. I know, so you know. <sighs> what is the problem? Friday is a holiday for me. For those who do not know, do not call me on Friday. Do not text me on Friday. Leave me alone on Friday. Friday is Halloween ends. And for those who don't know me, Halloween is my favorite movie. So, yeah, I already got my early showing ticket ready. Um, then I'm hosting a party with my family that that night at my house because it's on Peacock too. Um, so I might see it maybe two, maybe three times Friday, but between Friday and Saturday, I'm already there. Like, you knew yeah. you were gonna go this weekend for his birthday. I don't know if we're gonna go on Monday or. Sunday, but I'm gonna go oh, see it in the theater there instead of Peacock. First showing, first showing, I'm there. Then not be no madness in the theater. That's why I, I think Monday would be better because ain't gonna meet nobody. Everybody in school. Yeah, yeah. I might go see it Monday too. What one Monday look like? What next Monday look like? Well, it's a holiday for you on Friday. Yeah, and it might be even holiday on Monday too. I'm gonna try not to watch it on Peacock. As a matter of fact, I didn't even pay my Peacock bills. So oh like, Lord. I'm good. But then but then they're also this week they're showing the older ones in the AMC theaters. They always show the older ones. I don't oh. see them all. I see them. If I have to hear that 13 days till Halloween, Halloween, I will oh, Halloween three. Halloween three has grown on me. It's grown on me. If you just take it for what it is as a standalone movie. I like it. You know that now that I've watched that thing where um they talked about the story of Halloween and John Carpenter's vision, like I get it now. Yeah, yeah. And I and I understand where he was coming from, where people are trying to put. Hold on. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Disciplinary actions. So anyway, <laughs> I'm trying to say I get it now when. You know, they tried to put a backstory to Michael Myers because I just watched Leatherface yeah. where they put a backstory to yeah. Leatherface. Like, these people don't need a backstory. They don't need a backstory. Because now you're making them humans instead of monsters. And that was the problem. That's been the problem with this whole, like, all these sequels and stuff. Like, the original it Halloween. It kind of makes them less scary because you're like, oh, now I understand. There's a reason. Yeah. yeah. It, it, but it also gives you a reason to make more movies, too. You have to try to find the motivation for him to keep going. No, he could have just kept going as he is. Can you imagine if they put a, a, a backstory to Pinhead? I don't know. Well, we'll see. Have you seen the new Hellraiser? I did. I watched it. I haven't watched it yet. Is it good? Damn. Have you seen the original Hell, Hellraiser? Yeah. One and two. One and two. I got the best. I thought both of them were cheesy, in my opinion. I, I'm not a Pinhead fan. I thought Pinhead was cheesy, but. Pinhead has a female in this one. Yeah, and I've seen it. Her vibe is much different than Pinhead, so it's like... Yeah, because you can, you know, Pinhead was, you know, you couldn't bring him back. I think the one thing about the movies is that, like, the original Hellraisers, Pinhead is not supposed to be the focal point. 
Right. The movie is not about him. It's really about the story in the box, you know? So yeah. he was just like a secondary character. And then the other movies I did, I watched the whole documentary on those two. They, at that point, it was just a license thing. The movies weren't even like, some of those movies weren't even Hellraiser movies, but they tried to put them out. So they put Hellraiser on it. Pinhead's yeah. in the movie for like five minutes. He does his thing. You open the box and I appear. And then that's the movie. Like, she's just too like, <laughs> but I guess it's like the whole what is the S and M type of vibe. Like that's what the original Hellraisers were like. It was like a whole like that whole like S and M pleasure vibe, whatever that is. You know, like you gotta but, watch it. Yeah, I I plan on it. I just see fun. Yeah, but starting a horror movie podcast. I'm telling you. <sighs> I'm talking about any, horror movies for hours. Don't give me no ideas, because you know I'm trying to like... And the new Terrifier came out. Have you seen Terrifier? No. Art Let's the Clown? Oh. I added it to the watch list. Yes. Terrifier. Art the Clown is the dude. I haven't seen a new one. They said that movie is so gross, people were throwing up in the theater. Wait, what? Yeah, they said it's so gross, people were throwing up in the movie theater. <laughs> Let me tell you something. There is a show on Netflix. It was a movie on Netflix where people watch, I cannot remember the name of the movie, but people watch this one scene and they said it made them want to vomit. The dude, the chick had a hole in her stomach, not her belly button, but it was an additional hole that was her private part. And the dude touched it and it made her, you know, and then he <laughs> had sex in that random hole in her stomach and Bam. people were like vomiting. And I was just like, I can't believe y'all really wasting my time with this. Fam. I'm, I'm not trying to see extra hole sex. No, I'm good. And that's, that's just like, um, what's that movie called where the chick ran up the stairs backwards? Exorcist. Exorcist. People said that that movie made them sick too. So it's like, when people say that, I'm talking about somebody who went into a haunted house and laughed the whole time. Dude. Yeah. Damn. My mom tells this famous story. Um, My mom and her mom, when Exorcist first came out, like the original 70, whatever year, they went to go see it. They're standing in line. Apparently, my grandmother got so scared, she left my mom and went home before they even got in the theater. Really? Yeah. So my mom says she ended up watching it by herself. I remember the first time me and my boys watched it together. We ran home that night, too. We really? watched it. We watched it. We had my boys' house. We're, like, down the street. It's, like, 2 o'clock in the morning. We're teenagers. Like, kind of young. And I don't know. We were just like, nah. We just ran all the way home. Like, it's a good movie. Now that you watch it, I think that's, like, I think it's, I'm not going to call it the most complete horror movie, but... I think it still stands the test of time to this day. Like, that's a movie you can still watch and still get something out of it, you know? I'd say, you know, only two movies that ever bother me. As a little kid, of course, I was forced to watch Freddy Krueger and forced to watch Chucky and Jason. But as a, as I got older, I think the only two movies that really bother me are the Mothman prophecies, okay, <laughs> and freaking um, Jeepers Creepers. And I hate the creeper. I hate them. Hate them. The first one was coming good. out with a Jeepers Creepers four. Yeah, I think they're trying to re- reboot it. Let it go. Yeah, yeah. It's, the movie itself is not scary. The, I like the, the first the creeper, one. The creeper is definitely scary. Well, you know, in the first one, the creeper was mad independent. He was driving a car, dumping yeah. bodies. Like <laughs> this one, he he just flies. I, I didn't like that they had him as a scarecrow. That part really. Yeah, me. yeah. That's why I haven't I haven't watched the last one they put out. Have you seen X? The movie is called X, and then there's Pearl. No. Oh my God. So X is basically a porn. Okay. <laughs> what murder? But it's the story about Pearl. And then they came, Pearl was in the theater now. I won't be here for Halloween. Okay. But Pearl, she wants to be famous and she killed her family. Oh, wow. She's a murderer. 
I tell you a movie that I think you would like, Japanese horror movie called Audition. Ooh, what's that amount? Apparently, it's a guy loses his wife. His wife passes away. He's like a movie producer or something, mm. and his friend urges him to like get back out there. I mean, like, and he comes up with this whole idea to like, let's have like a um, like almost like a movie audition. He puts out almost like a casting call to find his girlfriend, his next girlfriend. So him and his boy, they literally like interview all these women, all these women. Comes across this one girl. She's like extremely shy. She is pale. She is like quiet. And for whatever reason, he likes her. Long story short, slim crazy. And at and the end of the movie, the last 10 minutes of the movie are insane. Yeah. All I'm going to say. I'm going to have to watch that. I'll have to watch that. And what was that other movie you said? Terrifier. With the clown? Yep. If you just Google Art, his name is Art, A-R-T, Art the Clown. He's like five movies in at this point, four or five. Art. Terrifier. Uh, what's the other movie came out? Um, Art the Clown. Yeah. <laughs> what? It ain't nothing scary about Art. Good movies, though. <laughs> I haven't seen the new I probably new... laugh. Nah, he don't laugh. Nah, there's this video. Oh, my God. The heck is the name of this game? But there's in the game, there's this tall ass thing. Is it called Mr. Fuzzy? Nah. What's the thing called? It's like a tall blue guy. Tall blue and, guy? Yeah. Oh my God. What the hell is his name? Oh, he looks, I don't know if you can see it, but he looks like this. I've seen that game. I've seen people play that right. game. So I was watching somebody play the game. They be freaking out. And if you see him in the actual game, he's like mad tall. So the one guy I was watching play the game went through the vent. Yes. And he comes down, goes to the vent, and he's walking on the side with your eye alert. My mom was like, I'm really disturbed. I should find that funny. No, I've seen people play. Horror people... is funny. People playing that game. Um, you know, the way he slumps his body to go through that vent cracks me up every time. Oh my god, my dog almost there is this game. Yo, I've been seeing this, I've been seeing this game. Alien, alien isolation. Have you heard of this game? No. Apparently, this game is spooky. I've seen people what play this game. I kind of want to play it. And it's a it's, it's like a horror survival. Yeah. So it's like you're trapped with the alien. And you don't, I don't think you have any weapons or anything, but you got like figure out like a puzzle game almost. You got like figure out how to survive and get out of there. But apparently the alien is chasing you and the game is smart. So I guess it, it, it learns how you move and your patterns and stuff. So you can't do the same thing over and over again. And the alien is chasing and stalking you. That game looks scary. Well, but I want to play. That. I'm about to get it. Yeah. But it said it's hard. It's really hard. It's not an action game at all. You just gotta escape an alien. Yeah, but like, if you run, if like, if you try to do certain things, the alien will learn. Mm. So it'll like figure you out. So you can't just do the same moves all the time. Being an alien, man, intelligent. Yeah, yeah. So I know we sitting here talking about games and stuff. It's cool, part. Yeah, David, you missed this one. Sorry, sorry, bro. Got to get flown out on Monday nights. So yeah, get flewed out. Flewed out. Yeah, but let's wrap this thing. What time is it? Yeah, let's get up out of here. So y'all know what time it is. Community Coalition Show is brought to you by the Black Squirrel Media Network. Um, check out all the shows and stuff we got going on over there, blacksquirrelmedia.com. You can check out this show more on this, communitycoalitionshow.com, all podcast platforms, YouTube, all that stuff. Um, yeah, so enjoy yourselves. Till next week, find something you like to watch, find something you like to enjoy, and, and don't be ashamed of it, you know? And we'll be back. So hopefully David will be back too. We'll have some fun. So have a good week, y'all. We out. Peace.